Hi everybody. It's Friday and that means that it's our secret Mother's Day surprise today. I want to thank all of you who sent in your mom's favorite books, books that you love reading with your mom, all of those suggestions. I got them all. And we have a very clear winner for the book that we're going to read today. All right, so this is one that I know a lot of you moms out there love, but have a very hard time reading, or at least getting through without crying. All right. So I am going to read it for you today and hopefully I will not cry, okay? I haven't yet, I don't know what that says about me, but I haven't yet cried while reading this book. We'll see. All right, so let's get started. The book that all of your little ones wanted for you today is love you forever. Right, mommies? This is for you from your babies, okay? A mother held her new baby and very slowly rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she held him, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby will be The baby grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was two years old, and he ran all around the house. He pulled all the books off the shelves. He pulled all the food out of the refrigerator, and he took his mother's watch and flushed it down the toilet. Sometimes his mother would say, This kid is driving me crazy! At nighttime, when that two-year-old was quiet, she opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor, looked up over the side of his bed, and when he was really asleep, she picked him up and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. While she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby will be. The little boy grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was nine years old. And he never wanted to come in for dinner. He never wanted to take a bath. And when Grandma visited, he always said bad words. Sometimes his mother wanted to sell him to the zoo. But at nighttime, when he was asleep, the mother quietly opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor and looked up over the side of the bed. If he was really asleep, she picked up that nine-year-old boy and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby. boy grew. 
he grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was a teenager. He had strange friends and he wore strange clothes and he listened to strange music. Sometimes his mother felt like she was in a zoo. But at nighttime, when that teenager was asleep, the mother opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor and looked up over the side of the bed. If he was really asleep, she picked up that great big boy and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she would say, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby, you'll be. That teenager grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was a grown-up man. He left home and got a house across town. But sometimes on dark nights, the mother got into her car and drove across town. All the lights in her son's house were out. She opened his bedroom window, crawled across the floor, and looked up over the side of his bed. If that great big man was really asleep, she picked him up and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she would say, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby will be. Well, that mother, she got older. She got older and older and older. One day, she called up her son and said, You better come and see me because I'm very old and very sick. So her son came to see her. When he came in the door, she tried to sing the song. She sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. But she couldn't finish because she was too old and sick. The son went to his mother. He picked her up and rocked her back and forth back and forth, back and forth. And he sang this song, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my mama will be. When the son came home that night, he stood for a long time at the top stairs. Then he went into the room where his very new baby daughter was sleeping. He picked her up in his arms and very slowly rocked her back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while he rocked her, he would say, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby will be. That is the end. Isn't that such a sweet book, guys? And I did it. Made it through. No tears. <laughs> Anyway, I hope that some of you guys out there were able to make it through with no tears. But all of you guys, all you little guys there, give your mommies a big, huge hug. Oh, tell them how much you love them. 
okay? Because they really would do absolutely anything in the world for you. They would. Yep. They love you more than they can even express to you. More than they can even say. All right. I hope that you all have a wonderful weekend and the happiest Mother's Day. Even though we all have to stay apart, that doesn't mean that there's any less love out there in the world, okay? And I'm sending all of my love to all of you guys, all you moms, anybody who is looking after any child. You are there, you count too. I see you all, okay? You all are amazing and important and have a wonderful weekend and a very happy Mother's Day. Mwah. So much love to you guys. Thank you for joining me. Bye. Bye. Happy Mother's Day.